All About Scorpio Part 39. Yep, you heard it right. All About Scorpio. <laughs> it's been a while indeed. I think the last time I posted an audio recording about Scorpio topics, that was four months ago. I know, it's been a long time. So sorry about that. Been busy. Lots of happenings. And um, the only reason I was able to upload an audio recording or decided to cover a topic about Scorpio today uh, is only because... Um, there are, there's nothing much to do because of what happened recently, like what I shared on the previous videos that I've uploaded, like uh, the job stability and all that, since the account that I was supporting um, has been dissolved. So right now, um, latest updates, I really don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm still going to be part of Dell, but for, in the meantime, we're being asked to just, you know, wait for a while, and we're just working from home. So that's re the reason why I decided as well to cover a topic um, about Scorpio careers, <laughs> because, we're, you know, we're dealing with work issues and all that, and um, job opportunities, you know. So I, I think it was somehow not totally covered. It's, it wasn't really the main topic in the past recordings, but um, I decided that it's you know a great you know uh, a great idea to um, to again talk about Scorpio careers or what's the best career for a Scorpio out there. Um, so we're just going to talk about that again, and I've checked out some. Um, what do you call this? Websites. And um, we'll read through that. So, shall we begin? By the way, I'm so sorry. I'm not feeling so well um, for the past few days. That's why uh, I had, you know, stuffy nose and all that. But, yeah, anyway, let's begin. <laughs> um, the first one will be by www.horoscope.com. says here, Scorpio career and money. Let's check this one out. Okay. So it says here, Scorpio career, money, and success. Scorpio's career mantra, perfection is power. Scorpio's greatest career strength, intensity. That's true. That is so true. Scorpio is much happier leading the pack or providing an authentic opinion than being a team player. <laughs> when Scorpio goes in, they go all in. Scorpio's greatest career challenge, politics. That's so true. That's what's happening. In my case, <laughs> Scorpio has no interest in playing the game. They're interested in playing to win and don't care whose toes they step on to do so. Mm, it depends. If you're not doing the right thing, um, I don't think that's, you know, appropriate in the first place just to win. But yeah, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Scorpio's work style. Okay, Scorpio is all about burning the candle at both ends when they're passionate about a project. It can take a few false starts for Scorpio to find their footing. And when Scorpio doesn't like the team they're on at work, watch out. Scorpio would much rather do the work solo than attempt to work with people they feel don't bring anything to the table. That is so freaking true. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening in my, you know, my, my experience so far. Um, it's, it's, I could understand that. Let me just comment about that. It's, I mean, it's better to work alone instead of working with people you're not, you feel that you're actually not one team because everything has their own agenda. Everyone has their own selfish, um, like they're being selfish. It's just like a one man team. The I, when everybody's like the I in the team. So yeah, a Scorpio would rather just work solo instead of working with people who can't bring anything to the table and um, steal your ideas or credits and they feel like they're the best. You know, um, instead of being in a team where everybody's working hard together, sharing ideas, or, you know, like, there's no, like, everybody has their own um, share, you know, like, everybody's good in their own way. Everybody has their own contribution. I would rather go for that, you know. Anyway, next. Scorpio are fiercely intelligent and amazing multitaskers, so they thrive at being entrepreneurs. Scorpio is committed and can see a project through to a final vision. Scorpio needs independence and trust to pull off a project. 
and hates having someone else look over their shoulder. <laughs> really? Okay. Scorpio can be a demanding boss, but can also be one that employees love. That's so freaking true. Uh, one of my bosses actually is Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, he's demanding, but um, you, you, you know, you would admire his leadership skills. They are fair, exacting, and want their employees to be the best that they can be. They're great at spotting and nurturing talent. Yeah, that's true. And inspire people to work their hardest. Okay, so now let's proceed to Scorpio's dream career. So let me just drink some water. I'm sorry about that. I'm not feeling good. I've been cuffing lately. <laughs> okay, first one, tech entrepreneur. Scorpio loves technology and has a big picture vision and technical skills to match. Scorpio isn't afraid of long hours and also loves the big reward that may come with working in tech. Hmm, okay. Film director is the second one. Perfectionist Scorpio loves having their hands in all aspects of a production and usually has an artistic vision they can manifest through film. Third one is restaurateur. Scorpio is a foodie. Maybe that's me. <laughs> I love food and loves everything that goes into a restaurant, including the ambiance, the wine list, and of course, the menu. Scorpio also loves schmoozing and being in a C and B scene restaurant is a Scorpio dream. Next one on the list, agent. Whether it's um, sports or film, Scorpio is good at speaking up and asking for the best deal. They're also great at reading through contracts, negotiating, and enjoying the limelight. Scorpio much prefers to be behind the scenes. That's so true. That's me. Behind the scenes. I don't want to be in the spotlight. And is happy to think big picture when it comes to a client's career, especially since they know that they're the ones who are really pulling all the strings and holding all the power. And finally, spy. The spy who shagged me. <laughs> Secretive, intelligent, and willing to play their cards close to their chest. Scorpio makes an excellent spy. Scorpio loves the intrigue, but also isn't afraid to push up their sleeves and get to work. All right. Next one is Scorpio and money. Scorpio has a complicated relationship with money. Their intelligence and street smarts means they make money easily, but their love of luxury means that it's also easily spent. Scorpio can get frustrated because they know what they should be doing with their cash, but sometimes have a hard time having enough discipline to follow through. Scorpio can get jealous when others have more than they have, especially if they perceive the person who has it isn't as intelligent or hardworking as them. Not me. Anyway, the more Scorpio takes charge of their money, including proactively investing, the better they feel. Now, if you work for a Scorpio boss, repeat after us. It's not personal. A Scorpio boss might make you cry or feel like shit. <laughs> oh my god. It's like my boss. My Scorpio boss. They aren't doing it because they're out to get you. A Scorpio boss looks at work product much more than personality and doesn't put a lot of stock in personal connections. If you work hard, a Scorpio boss likes you. No politics here. Oh my God. Actually, um, at first, when I, the first few years I was working with the Scorpio boss, let me just share to you. I was like so freaking, you know, pissed off at him. Like I thought everything was personal, you know. And I thought there were, you know, kind of like a politics going on. But the most recent conversation or one-on-one -on -one that I had with him, he actually told me that, you know what, um, a lot of people hated me for what I'm doing. Um, like, I'm not the type who's going to smooth your feelings all the time or sugarcoat things and all that. Um, he would discipline you. That's for that's one thing for sure. But he's doing it for your, for you. And um, I've seen that side, and I began to understand, like, yeah, I, I must have just really, like, judged him at the beginning. Yeah, but that's true. Anyway, here's more about what they are like. Street smart, that's number one. The Scorpio boss doesn't get involved in work politics, but seems to know everything going on. That's because they listen and observe. That's so true. But don't gossip. That is so true. That's what I do, actually. Um, I'm not a boss, but, um, I mean, I'm not like, you know, a high level, um, executive leader or something or a director, um, Adele, but w what I'm trying to say is that 
that's a type of um, strategy that I do. Like, I love to listen and observe, and then I pick up something from it. I'm not really into gossips. It's just that uh, what happened is, or what usually happens is that people would talk about it, where, whether you can hear it from them or they are going to tell you, but it's like you don't participate too much. But, you know, you you get, you know, something out of it, you know, based on those observations, listening to people, what's going on, you know, you're always in the loop and all that. Anyway, next one on their own timeline. Scorpio gets things done, but don't take a lot of stock in a nine to five schedule. Get it done and your time is yours, right? Okay, intense. Scorpio doesn't believe race voices or tears should be verboten at the office. Uh, they're a sign of passion. But once you have an outburst, Scorpio expects you to get back to work and they don't like grudges. Next one is idealistic. Scorpio believes in a more perfect world and more perfect product and pushes their employees to demand the same. Nitpicky, a misplaced comma may seem like NBD, but to a Scorpio, it's a sign that you don't respect the job. Okay, next, what success means to a Scorpio? Scorpio thrives on perfection, and for a Scorpio, a job well done isn't well done until they think it is. Scorpio has a lot of grand plans and gets frustrated when thwarted by a higher up. Success for a Scorpio is living a life and having a career on their own terms. A Scorpio could be making a lot of money and in a position of power, but if they don't feel they have control or feel they have a boss or a board breathing down their neck, they won't be happy. <laughs> Scorpio also needs creativity and time to breathe in their day. If all Scorpio is doing is pushing papers or crunching numbers, they won't be happy. That's so true. Scorpio needs some outlet to do their things their own way or... Uh, yeah, their own way to feel personally fulfilled. Okay, next. Awakening the inner Scorpio Phoenix. People think of Scorpio and think Scorpion. But one of Scorpio's powerful animal totems is the Phoenix, the bird who emerges from the ashes of destruction and toward a new and more perfect world. Here's how to awaken the inner Scorpio Phoenix. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Going into a situation that's scary, even a roller coaster, and emerging from it is all about showing Scorpios resiliency. Afraid of heights? Time to sign up for skydiving lessons. Wear red. Incorporate red into your wardrobe and wear it on the days when you feel most vulnerable. Cry. Scorpio tries to hide their vulnerability, even though they're quite sensitive. Learning to cry and show emotions in front of people is a key Scorpio talent that can only make you stronger. Go back and forgive. Had a terrible breakup? Have a face-to-face -face convo with a person who broke your heart? For Scorpio, these scary encounters only make them feel stronger and more resilient. All of the above were especially powerful in the month that manifests a full moon in Scorpio. Hmm, interesting. So, it's not just all about jobs um, or career. It also tackled the subject of money or the Scorpio boss, or what success is to, Scor to Scorpios, and all that. So let's proceed to the next um, website that I checked out that covers the topic about career paths or careers for Scorpio. So this one is by ZipRecruiter.com, and the title is uh, Best Career Path for Scorpio. All right. So, it says here, what are the best career paths for Scorpio? Scorpios possess polarizing personality traits that can be contradictory. For instance, they're highly independent, but can cling to those close to them. Wow, that's true. Scorpios are also known to be intuitive, assertive, resourceful, enigmatic, goal-oriented, and adaptable. These traits become highly useful in the workplace. Scorpios have many What's this? Have many possessed traits? Okay. That could be viewed as strengths or weaknesses depending on how the individual chooses to harness them. Examples of these include intensity, stubbornness, and secretiveness. 
Scorpios are most effective and fulfilled in their work when they can be of service to others, benefit from minimal supervision. Yeah, I don't, you know, I would rather work under minimal supervision, that's true. But not micromanagement and do work that fulfills them. Career paths in nonprofit and human services, medicine, organizational development may be a good fit. All right, now, what are Scorpios like in the workplace? Huh, this is interesting. I'd like to know. In the workplace, Scorpios are strong-willed and charming. They have magnetic personalities that draw co-workers to them, but strongly prefer to work independently. Oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> Scorpios like to lead, but can follow when instructions they receive are clear and direct. Scorpios pursue their goals with vigor, but like to be left to their own devices. They are sure to share a perspective that few others have thought of, are adept at using failure to drive them towards success, and have a unique brand of loyalty. That's so true. Scorpios are strong team members, but favor solitary tasks. This may pose a challenge at work, but Scorpios can overcome it by compromising, splitting their time at work between team tasks and individual tasks. For Scorpio, if the work is useful, they can complete it in almost any work environment, including laboratories, medical facilities, and remote locations. So here are the 10 best professions for Scorpio. In order to make the most of their professional life, Scorpios must seek careers that are meaningful and help people to advance, grow, or succeed in some area of their lives. The following professions are strongly suited to the Scorpio personality. Number one, psychologist. I love psychology, actually, yeah. Psychologists investigate the mind to make sense of human behavior. They publish their findings in scholarly articles, journals, books, and documentaries. This is ideal for Scorpios who want to do purposeful work to bring greater understanding to complex issues. Scorpios may even find that researching the human mind helps them to understand the complexities of their personalities. Very much true. Number two, here we go, researcher. <laughs> Researchers employ practical methods to get to the bottom of things. The duties of this role can vary, but frequently entail collecting information, using statistical analysis to interpret data, recruiting participants, and compiling findings to be presented or published. Scorpios are skilled in these areas, taking their time, carry out each part of the process to meet the ultimate goal. Number three, engineer. Scorpios have some natural skills and abilities, which makes them great engineers. They channel their passion, loyalty, and analytical perspective into analyzing and improving systems and projects. The duties of this role range from drawing up blueprints to applying mathematical concepts to make conclusions. Design, development, research, and construction are all key components in this profession. Number four, financial advisor. A central function of this advisor is to help clients identify and meet financial goals. Clients employ their services to correct financial problems, determine ways to fund future endeavors such as owning a home or purchasing a vehicle, and make smart fiscal decisions. Scorpios tend to be good with money and strategy, both of which are needed in this role. Number five, pharmacist. The person in this role will prepare prescription medications, educate um, patients about best medical practices while using the medications, and make recommendations as necessary. Pharmacists must often combine medical skills with interpersonal skills because much of their work is people-oriented, so Scorpio can excel in this position. Number six, physician. Physicians diagnose and treat ailments, perform medical exams, and educate patients about their diagnosis. A Scorpio's passion can make them excellent physicians. This trait and a Scorpio's loyalty are assets in patient relationships. Number seven, market analyst. Market analysts need to know as much about people as possible. But they are interested in what people purchase, the demographic they belong to, what their needs are, and what is important to them. Um, they use this information to advise companies on how to market products and services effectively. The Scorpio's unique perspective is highly valuable in this line of work. Interesting, huh? Number eight, a marketing associate. The marketing associate in your office is likely the person to make sure that all branding efforts of a company are cohesive, effective, and eye-catching. 
the creative Scorpio can tap into, into their intuitive nature to develop marketing strategies, conduct and apply research and analyze data to produce one of a kind marketing initiatives. Number nine, occupational therapist. Scorpios find meaning in even the most mundane tasks, so they know how important it is that people have the ability to partake in them. Occupational therapists are also aware of this and assist patients with developing and restoring skills and abilities needed to thrive in their day-to-day -day lives. And finally, human resources assistant. These assistants support human resource function of an organization. This includes facilitating the recruitment process, scheduling interviews, maintaining employee records, and helping with trainings and orientations, and assisting employees with navigating work-related dilemmas. Scorpios can thrive in this people-oriented prof profession and make vital contributions um, to the team. You know what? This is interesting. I like this one. So let's move on to the next one, which is by horoscope.com, the top 10 careers for Scorpio. Let's see if, if there are similarities from the previous one that I've just read, okay. They are brilliant, perceptive, and hardworking. They can be difficult, but only when they perceive a situation to be superficial or when dealing with silly people, <laughs> that's so true. They enjoy a quiet workplace that is free of distractions. So true. They're not temperamentally suited to a job that is highly visible and in front of the public unless they're totally in charge. The Scorpion is motivated by being able to do good work and gaining a stellar reputation. This sign will wholeheartedly engage in all that they do, provided that they're able to do things their way. Okay, so number one, best suited um, career for Scorpio, coroner, forensics expert. Great. Scorpio is perfectly suited for this work, which could horrify others. They are not easily scared and will investigate tirelessly to determine the cause of death and other pertinent details. Scorpio has a surgeon's eye and a penchant for detective work that matches the qualities needed in a coroner. Because it is strictly science, but they would appreciate the lack of emotional obligations. All right, next one would be private investigator. There you go, PI. The natives of this sign are naturally curious individuals who love to discover secrets but value their own privacy. All of this adds up to someone who's good at uncovering the crazy stuff that others want to hide. The scorpion is also great at working undercover and quietly observing people and their activities. They are excellent researchers and won't give up until they have all the facts. A penchant for revenge sometimes comes in handy. Number three, psychiatrist. The chance to hear the dirty laundry of countless clients and figure out their issues is the kind of life that Scorpio relishes. Of course, these, rather, there are also control issues involved and a healthy dose of transference. Scorpio psychiatrists may have to examine themselves first before pointing the finger. Number four, embalmer. With this career, Scorpios excel not only because they're fascinated with the dead, but also because they're ambitious and hardworking. This is a lifetime career that is demanding and stressful, but well suited to a Scorpio with endurance and fortitude. As with being a coroner, they're able to marry science and anatomy with work that takes a lot of dedication and a lack of squeamishness. This job also gives them the opportunity to work alone. Number five, researcher. Uh, the scorpion can be found in scientific labs, whether working for pharmaceutical companies or doing research for private industry or government agencies. They have the kind of mind that is able to penetrate the problem and come up with criteria to evaluate it and show results. An aspect of the scorpion character wants to be the best and when applied it properly, will find a cure for a disease, the ultimate weight loss solution, or a new form of birth control. Whatever the problem, they will find the answer or improve on the solution. Number six, surgeon. The Scorpio native is intense and driven. They have a lot of endurance and a strong desire to excel. These qualities allow them to be outstanding surgeons who eventually achieve an impeccable reputation in the operating room. Inner strength and tenacity allow them to persevere when it seems like all is lost. Number seven, sex 
therapist. Of all the signs of the zodiac, Scorpio is the obvious choice to work with people who have hang-ups and dysfunction in the bedroom. The airing of dirty little secrets, sexual fantasies, and embarrassing details does not deter dear Scorpio. In fact, nothing is too shocking for this personality. They have the ability to get to the root of the matter and help their clients make adjustments and work through problems. Number eight, dominatrix. This career is not for everyone, but for those Scorpios with a strong personality and lots of need for control, this job could be very lucrative and satisfying. There is the opportunity to work from home, wear an interesting uniform, and work out some aggression. This is not for the faint of heart or the passive, but can be a way to access the dark side without causing too much harm. Number nine, bill collector. Another job that allows the nasty side of Scorpio to emerge is in collections. They can get paid to abuse and casual deadbeats and debtors eight hours a day and then go home to relax in front of the fire. Empty threats and daily harassment are the tools of the trade, requiring a lot of dogged determination and a will to succeed. They are not dunted at all by people who don't answer the phone or open their mail and will find a way to get to them. And finally, number 10, Hypnotist. Scorpio loves being in control and is fascinated by the unconscious. When acting responsibility, this career could be perfect for them. Working with clients who want to shake bad habits, they are able to make hypnotic suggestions which are effective in dealing with these problems. Some people are looking to remember past lives or hidden memories. The scorpion is the master of secrets and hidden things. Hmm, nothing similar with the first one. Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, except for, oh yeah, yeah, nothing really similar. This one's totally different. Oh, except for being a researcher. The only similar career that was mentioned, the first one that I've read, um, would be, you know, a researcher. So, based on this one, I would have to say, I agree with the forensics expert. I also like that when I was, you know, a kid. I was always watching um, crime investigations, and um, uh, I forgot the title of that show in Discovery Channel. Kind of like a crime night or something. You know, I, I forgot. I forgot the exact title. But yeah, it really, you know, it really interests me if, you know, it has something to do with forensics, about being a private investigator, a psychiatrist, but for the rest, um, like for instance, surgeon, and no, I'm not interested in that one, dominatrix, sex therapist, bill collector, yeah, not really. Okay, for the final one, because we're running at 27 minutes now, what's the best job for you, Scorpio? This is actually by new.theastrologer.com, and the name is Kelly Fox. This is by Kelly Fox. So it says here, what's the best career choice for a person like you? How can you use the talents and abilities of your sign to take you as far as possible in your vocation? Can you find work that will inspire, encourage, and permit you to do something you love? No one can keep a secret quite as well as you, Scorpio, and that's something you can use in your career as you are placed in positions that require discretion. You thrive in the midst of intelligence organizations, top level or secret negotiations, or handling confidential papers or very expensive goods. This ability to keep a confidence could help you be an excellent clergy person, priest, monk, shaman, or spiritual counselor or therapist. Your natural urge to investigate and your capacity to fearlessly plunge into the depths makes you the perfect candidate for certain professions that repel others. Surgery, medicine, nursing, hospital, or medical tech, um, emergency medical technician, waste management. Scorpio rules anything under the ground, so people born under this sign are found in great numbers in underground construction, um, sewer work, mining, drilling tunnels, and in the oil industry. Scorpios love to research deeply into one subject, so you can excel in any type of research. There you go again. And what I've been, what I've been doing so far is research. So yeah, majority of Scorpios, they're into research and development. Yours is one of the signs associated with money, so you can do very well in industries such as banking and loans, um, property valuation, assessor, financial analyst, venture capitalist, fortune hunter, accounting and finance, or finance. In fact, resource management is an excellent Scorpio profession 
as this logistics, and you could be an outstanding chief financial officer. Because many Scorpios have a natural ability to understand others' motivations, you can make an excellent psychologist, psychiatrist, or counselor. By the same token, certain Scorpios can make very effective spiritual leaders or advisors due to their understanding of the workings of the subconscious. There you go. So, what can you say? Um, for me personally, I totally, like, yeah, not like totally agree to everything because some of them doesn't interest me much, but of course, um, it's a case-to-case -case basis. I mean, it doesn't mean all Scorpios would love that career, right? So, for instance, in the first one that I've read, there are careers that I'm really interested in. Um, you know, like psychiatrists or psychologists or something to do with research, you know, things like that. So, I don't know with you guys, especially those Scorpios listening to this audio recording, um, share your thoughts. I mean, among those lists, which one would you most likely, you know, go for? if you're looking for a job or something. Anyway, um, that's about it. I'm really sorry again, it took me four months before I could, you know, upload something like this. And I'm planning of actually sharing this really great site that I've checked out, um, I think that was a month ago, where it's, um, it's I think it's a psychic or a medium, um, talking about the general characteristics of each birthday, you know, like, uh, for instance, if your birthday is um, December 16, um, that psychic or medium is going to talk about um, your your personality, the general characteristics, um, what else, the um, career for you, your 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 positive side, your negative side, and all that. And I find it so interesting because it's been a long while that I haven't read, you know, um, a site or even a book that describes it perfectly so well so i'm going to share that to you what i'm going to do probably the next time just give you a heads up is that i'm going to do november 1 until the very end of uh, scorpio i think it's until november 21st not november 1 i'm sorry october 23 rather october 23 until november 21st or 22nd so yeah we'll do that the next time but anyway that's about it for the first time, I'm not going to talk for 48 minutes, <laughs> and besides, I'm really, really not feeling so good right now, so I better head to sleep, and again, I'll see you on the next All About Scorpio topic. Goodbye. Have a great day.